<laughs> but, but, oh, okay. There's a lot of other things about it. Oh. <laughs> I'll have to pull that tweet up. So. Do you know the way? God, that's stuck in my head. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Everybody, <laughs> yeah. meme of the night. Go, go smash that share button. Ooh, yeah. All right, I'm looking for it. Except Scott. There it is. I don't know the way. What am I showing? Uh, if you go to beersoftheroundtable.com, <laughs> or I'm sorry, facebook.com. <laughs> and we, Facebook. and we were sitting on a really nice <laughs> picture of these cables right here. Oh, oh, nice. <laughs> that's, that's a good pre-show. Accurate, very accurate. <laughs> uh, and then the live stream should be up there, and then just share it. I am almost there. I am almost there. Hey, look. It's us. I have not. All oh, right. I have liked it. Share. Actually, I'm going to share it to um, post some pigeon as well. Do it. Um, Ooh. Um, Solid. Yes, please. Good idea. All right. Cool. Oh, yeah. You guys are going to have to sit through the intro without being able to hear it. Oh, just, just. Oh, oh. I guess both of you because you, uh, you didn't have a headphone we'll port. <laughs> yeah, we're out of headphone ports. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's terrible. If we had like two splitters. I mean, I do have. I have, I have, I have the a, big one to a small one, but you'd still have to have if, headphones. If you, well, okay. Well, all right. Let's do it. Let's just do it. I mean, they don't have to sit through the intro. We always talk through it anyway. That's yeah. True. <laughs> <laughs> That's <your real> <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's okay. <laughs> Let's not act like we well, respect I can our cut intro. all of that out. So. <laughs> Unedited. Ah, oh, that's true. Yeah. All right. Happy New Year. Woo! Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's it's 2018 officially. Oh, Five no. days ago, dude. Yeah. Well, oh, you know you know what, Bobby? I haven't seen you since last year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stop <laughs> this now. I'm going home. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um. Yeah. So welcome, beers of the round table. Uh, very special cast today. We have um, uh, pigeon cast with us. Uh, Austin porcelain and uh, pigeon cast. Yeah, porcelain, yeah, porcelain pigeon, pigeon cast. Pigeon. Excuse Sorry. me. I, I apologize. <laughs> well, the stream has the wrong title as well now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're not going to talk about that. All right. So, we're, we're a garbage truck on fire. Okay. You're going to have to accept we're, that. We're the dumpster fire. fire. So you carry us. So it works. welcome yeah. to the firestorm tonight, guys. Yeah. yeah. So we, we want to uh, welcome Austin and Tyler. Uh, we're Hi, glad to have. Y'all with us, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's great. All right, so let's let's jump into it. Um, today we are drinking Creature of Habit. Mm. Ooh, um, that's me. Imperial. Sometimes I make my bed. Is that a habit? Yes. <laughs> so this is an Imperial Coffee Brown Ale from Great Raft. We had Great Raft on here before. We were having the hardest time figuring out what it was that we had before. It was Grace and Grit. Yeah. Oh. Which was a fantastic oh, Imperial. That IPA. explains the art. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Yeah. The owls. Oh. Yeah. Always the owls. So, really excited about this. Let's go ahead and crack it open. Oh. Sprayed myself straight up with beer. I saw. Ooh. Oh, there we go. All nice. over the new MacBook. <laughs> oh, I did. Oh, no. <laughs> Someone hand me a napkin. <laughs> All right. Uh, on it. On it. Yep. Oh, help. <laughs> <laughs> look at that head. Look at that head. Oh, He's oh, 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 oh. Look at the head. It's <laughs> beautiful. It's really beautiful. Yeah, that's like... Look at that! Look at that head, but Brad. Look, take a take a moment to appreciate that. It like overflowed almost a look second. At Brad's head. <laughs> Brad is like half head right yeah. now. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, Brad is moonshining it over there. Yeah. Very uh, head generous. I kind of messed great. up there. <laughs> yeah. I'm doing great over here. Let's see if I can get this perfect pour on. Oh, Bobby, come on, come on, that baby. That's okay. Like that if, perfect. Pour? If, if y'all think back to like our first cast, like. Half of us just like had half a glass of head, and the other half had <laughs> like nothing at all. I'm glad to bring it back. Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> we have some See, nowadays we whenever oh! we go out to bars and stuff like that, that's like our bar trick that we do. Is that now we can actually pour? <laughs> we, we can get a decent pour out of there. Yeah. All right. So, um, who, who was our topic master this Zero week? Head, dude. I was the topic master. Oh, so, hi, Scott. Scotty McScottster. <laughs> he did it. And uh, so this week, I want us to each talk about our uh, New Year's resolutions. No. Ooh, Do you want me to start off? <laughs> yeah, sure. We'll, we'll, we'll start with Scott and we'll go around the table. Um, so, if you know me, I like video games, and uh, I, I have like no idea. I like buying video really? games. <laughs> so uh, you're gonna cut back on video games? That's incredible. No, I'm not gonna cut back on them, but I, he's gonna double down <laughs> all the way. Every <laughs> week, he's quitting his job to play video games professionally. He's 24 seven. Follow him on Twitch. He's gonna he's gonna speed run a different game every day. No, 
It's actually a little bit more Starting lame. with Dark Souls. <laughs> hey, I, I will Dark do that Souls with you guys. Two, But we're going to skip Bloodborne, but then Dark Souls 3. <laughs> no, uh, I'm actually going to try and wait till I'm ready to play a game before really? actually buying it. What do you mean? Mm. What, do you mean what, what does that even yeah. mean? Define well, because like ready. he's getting into pirating. Define wait. <laughs> so, so what you're telling me is that you, you, you saved all your money like a chump during the Steam winter sale? <laughs> no, I bought a lot of games during the Steam winter sale and I'm like, fuck, I have like seven games now to play and I have no time to play them. I'm still playing Dot .hack GU. Yeah. Like a game yeah. from like 2006 or something like that. Get with the time, <laughs> Scott. <laughs> What about Destiny you 2, know, guys? You know we have, we have 3D that? games in the future? It is a 3D game. <laughs> Granted, it is a early PlayStation 2 game, but it is a 3D game. <laughs> <laughs> so, so everybody has like pointy shoulders and stuff? Yeah, What's yeah. The graphics no, are no. parallel. <laughs> PlayStation 4 cannot produce these graphics. <laughs> right? Let's be real here. No, literally with this remake, they just like turned up the anti-aliasing to like four times, and it's oh, like yeah. everybody is super smooth now. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so 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 tell us what like regarding video games. What is your resolution? Like I said, it's to wait till I'm like, all right, I have time. No, I like I've finished every other game. I'm ready to start playing this game. I'm gonna buy it now and start playing it. So, nice. So you 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 won't buy a game until you have like you know just hours to play it, or that it's it is the game I'm gonna play because I fall into the habit of like buying a game with the intention of playing it and then like i go and look and it's like you purchased this on you know september 5th 2013 and you haven't (laughs) even played it yet like (laughs) i see that on steam all the time (laughs) i see a lot of games on steam it's like (laughs) i still gotta finish car mechanic simulator 2015 before i can buy 2016 i mean come on man (laughs) i think i think i just bought that that game, Car Mechanic 20, uh, 2015? I don't know. 2015 bought, is the good one, man. I bought a Car Mechanic Simulator. Hey, is you it know My what? Summer Car? What? My <laughs> Summer Car, is that the Car Mechanic game? <laughs> is that I, it? I, I don't believe so, but what I will say is that any car game is a good game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't like okay. going on a Steam and like you know looking at a game. It's like, oh, you've played five minutes in this game. <laughs> It's like, oh, great. I opened it up and I like, got to the main menu and closed it. Stop. <laughs> Stop looking at my Steam library. Man. <laughs> Are you me? <laughs> but yeah, here, Austin, what about you? One for you. Well, this year, my resolution is to actually buy a bike and use it. Because I like bicycle or motorcycle. I'm sorry, bicycle. Okay, a bicycle. Gotcha. No, a bicycle. <laughs> a ring, a ring, or vroom, vroom. A, a ring, <laughs> ring. Um, <laughs> because I can't do vroom, vroom. I don't have the license for it, and I'm also definitely afraid of motorcycles in general. So Solid. <laughs> I just want to get a bike. I want to just use it more often, um, and you know, bite the bullet of actually purchasing it. Because bicycles are very expensive. They are. Yeah, yeah. they are. In this economy. People just can't afford bicycles. Uh, <laughs> real road bikes, yeah, exactly. Yeah, real road bikes in this economy just can't happen. But, yeah, that's like, I want to, like, get a bike and then eventually hopefully race with it. Like, do a bicycle, like a marathon. Dude, like he's, he's going to go bike. Lance Armstrong over Yeah, there. basically. <laughs> Plus you, the nut. Are you four? Yeah, I say, <laughs> uh, say, uh, please buy my, yellow, uh, my Livestrom bla- bracelets and just... Um, I'm going to need well, just I mean, for the future. You mean, you mean your pigeon bracelets? Oh, yes. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Porcelain yeah. pigeon. Uh, check them out online. Really, the porcelain pigeon bracelet lately goes around your entire way. It takes up your whole arm. <laughs> terms just, and conditions are on it. It's, it's the yeah. pigeon sleeve. Yeah, just the pigeon it. sleeve. It's really long. It's the pigeon with duct tape. <laughs> it's literally a live pigeon like here <laughs> if you buy it if you buy a brace of from us we will send one pigeon one live pigeon you get to keep it yeah <laughs> that's how it gets delivered right like yes pigeon. that's the delivery system if you have like, any comments or anything for us get this in the back <laughs> <laughs> through the pigeon I mean it will be able to find its way home yeah. after all we hope <laughs> we, we hope <laughs> Still training them. It's a little difficult. It's a little rough. One went to China and Never they have back. overthrown the government. It's fine. <laughs> Solid. One is currently running the country. Oh. Bird brain. <laughs> we, don't claim, we don't claim the pigeons after they leave the nest. We don't claim them in general. Let me just restate that. <laughs> they have free will. They know the way. They, 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 they just way. show up. They just show up. <laughs> I'm going to pass it to Tyler. Hi, Tyler. You say your thing. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> so I have like a laundry list of resolutions. I'm not gonna say all of them because I know. Start with one. Yeah, we'll, we'll, start we'll, with one. one. <laughs> but, you know, this is the year of change, man. I'm like a 
Is it? Who is that again? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 yeah, I feel so that. Like, I, my goal was to actually do something with that, you know, and not just let it sit forever. So, is it like you want to actually follow, I guess, through? follow all the way through? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. Sure. So, like porcelain pigeon, we're trying. We're great. To, we have a we have a YouTube channel, and that's something we're gonna like. That's something. And my goal this year is to make that a thing that people want to see. Mm. So yeah. My goal is to make. I have just like four or five series written for it, and my goal is to shoot them. And Nice. This is this is why Tyler is the creative director on the person who tries to keep everything on fire. So, <laughs> it usually this is actually how it goes. There's no usual about this. It's 100 percent on fire. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's good. I, I mean, it's something that we've even been doing, you know, with trying to do with the back bar. Where we're, I mean, we have Joseph's band lined up. We did yep. my brother's band. I did my mm-hmm. best man, you know, for interviewing, and we're, you know, it's like. Just trying to actually create uh, and you know put something out rather than yeah. make you something know, you're proud of. Cultivate. Right, exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Cultivate culture. I feel like. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, not Cultivate to like culture. really divert, but the whole Logan Paul, uh, Logan Paul thing Man, ah, that, that just happened. Uh, <laughs> it, I think YouTube needs positive. Positive yeah. influences. <laughs> All social news. media does. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. I mean, like, true. let's not look at his uh, apology video on Twitter. What's on Twitter? What's up? Both on YouTube. on YouTube. Okay, I watched it on Twitter. That's a that's a lot to dissect in a setting. <laughs> bottom, bottom line, uh, <laughs> fuck that guy. Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that. That's like, like agreed. Like, anybody can create anything. Like, yeah. Uh, right. Phone. Some sort. The amount of stuff that's out, there's a lot more stuff, but it's a lot lower quality. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of the public doesn't have the tools necessary to be like, oh, what should I watch? Like, what should I put in my own brain? Exactly. Exactly. So, like, my goal is to bring back the better content. Well, yes. See, and I think that's kind of like what we both do with both of our podcasts is we are cultivating our audience, and then with that, we're just making content that they like. Hopefully. well, we are. I mean, <laughs> we are. I mean, just look at our download numbers. We're actually, you know, it it's Which it might have started out strong and then gone down, but then it's going back up. And then I we mean, we really hit it off on Instagram and oh, stuff yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, I mean, who doesn't yeah, like to crack and get tips? <laughs> I mean, <like. laughs> we, we're gonna talk later. About everything. We'll compare notes. We'll compare notes. Well, in, Instagram is kind of a hashtag game, anyway. Awesome. Yeah, the yeah. more the more hashtags you throw out at the post, you know, the more likes you kind of get. It's all about cracking the cold with the yeah. boys. Well, hey, that, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. this is really about. <laughs> that's what this is really about. That's what this is really about. So if you're not about that. Uh, you're in the wrong place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, might as well just stop this podcast right now, delete it from your phone, reset all content and settings. And, yeah, we'll uh, find your way. <laughs> and then resubscribe. <laughs> yeah, then resubscribe because we love you. Thank Come you. Back. Please. We'll take you back. Please. <laughs> I'll take you back. <laughs> We're actually desperate. <laughs> all right, Joseph, tell us. So, what have you resolved to do in 2018? It's weird because I don't really normally make resolutions, and but... That will feed into my resolution that I've come up with. <laughs> my resolution is to make a resolution. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So basically, I don't know. I feel like I really try to, in every endeavor in my life, try to just improve myself at it. And so my resolution that I came up with is to promote excellence in, in pretty much everything that I'm involved with. Mm-hmm. So I'm in a band. I'm in this podcast. <laughs> You're I'm excellent. in school. I'm, I'm looking for a job. Pretty much every anything I do now, I want to... Do it excellently. <laughs> excellent. That's act- I mean, that's good. Do, I mean, awesome. do, it, do it, do it bigly, 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 <laughs> bigly excellent. <laughs> oh, Evie didn't like that. Evie. <laughs> Beautiful. Evie thought that joke was dumb. She said, "How dare you?" <laughs> it, it went places. She hates the joke. <laughs> Just kidding. It did not go places. She hates the, hate the tomato. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, I think that's good. I mean, definitely. I know for me. <laughs> I know for me that like when I get home I definitely tend to slack off but I and, and that that is kind of this you know waiting to actually buy the game when I'm ready to play it is you know 
get all my other shit done, then I can reward myself, yeah. you know? Yeah. And yeah. I think that's kind of the excellence you're talking about, right? Yeah, I think so, yeah. <laughs> Zach, what have you resolved yourself to? Man, uh, it's going to sound really cliche. I'm ready for um, it. <laughs> I'm going to exercise. I, well, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> myself better. That's number two, man. I'm going to go to the two. gym. <laughs> no, I, I want to I try to be more positive. And, I mean, because one thing that I noticed is that Positivity. I'm not always the most positive person. I can be a That's little a really bit negative. That look right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. That's what I mean. Is I got to change that. But I mean, if you the, there's a huge problem going on with people feeling really negative nowadays. You see all of the all the people on social media going through this periscope, feeling down, and uh, yeah, just in general, uh, depression is a prominent thing that we're having to deal with now because it's you can see everything that's going on. You you don't live yes. behind this. This curtain of uh, blissful ignorance, which, I mean, protects, I feel like, previous generations. I, I feel like the best way to kind of help uh, resolve that is to try to be more of the positive person, to be more inclusive of other people that are um, at that point. And I feel like, in a turn, by uh, being a more positive person, not only do you uh, help somebody else out who may not be in the best spot, uh, you help yourself and you become more successful because, I mean, some of the most successful people out there, uh, Bill Gates, you know, uh, Elon Musk, um, even Warren Buffett, I feel like, in certain senses, yes. they're generally positive people. I mean, you notice that in all their things. They, they, they see all this stuff, global warming, bullshit like that. And, I mean, not saying that global warming is bullshit, but I'm just saying that there's a lot of <laughs> negative saying. things. That's a very general negative <laughs> yeah, thing. Yeah. That's Climate right denier. Now. How dare you? Well, um, they they all have positive outlooks on the future. Even though the current present is a little bleak right now, they aren't thinking of, oh, man, how bad is today? They're thinking about how good can I make tomorrow? How can I make this day tomorrow better for everybody else? Whether it be through philanthropy or philanth philanthropomorphic <laughs> means. <laughs> Yeah. Is that a word that I just made up? Uh, <laughs> Phil I'll philanthropic. I'll take it. Philanthropic, I'll take it. Philanthropic. <laughs> philanthropic means. Philanthropic uh, means. Thank you. Yes. Tropical. Uh, tropical. tropical. <laughs> just, oh my god, that was beautiful. I just want to make. I just want to make people laugh, man. You know. And we circled back. <laughs> well, no, I, I mean I agree with you, Zach. Like, did we just do that? See, because yes. the culture right now today is very much like it's either a zero or it's a one hundred. Yes. Like, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like There's all these there, decimal points in between. Like. Right. And, and, you know, one of the proud things for me with our cast is we're always honest of what we think the beer is. You know, for some of us, it's high and some of us, it might be low. And or sometimes we all agree it's kind of at the same level. Like we except coconut. Fuck coconut. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't like, I don't know if I actually want to know what that tastes like. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, yeah, I mean, like. You know, striving to be positive is such a good thing because you never know what the person on the other side that you might be talking to or, you know, tweeting or whatever is going through. And if yes. if it's something never, positive, yes. it's almost always a good thing, yes. you know? Exactly. And you know what? Uh, it's it, It's hard. It can be hard to do it. It can be hard to try to force yourself to be positive. And the thing is, is that, you know what? The great thing about positivity and the great thing about happiness in general is that Fake it until you make it does apply to it. I mean, if you mm -hmm. sit there and you just smile a little bit more throughout your day, your mood's going to boost with it, too. Yeah. I mean, science right. proves yeah. it. You know, it's, science it. does prove it. That's yeah. <laughs> it's just an interesting thing to think about. And, um, you know, I, I just want to I want to try to be one of those one of those positive people that you see that are still, you know, trying to provide people with laughs or, you know, hope or whatever the case may be. So that's I, my new well, resolution. I mean, like, as someone who has gone through uh, – who has – battle through depression and stuff like that um, me yeah me. like it, it is a very prevalent thing in society if you go on twitter it is we laugh at depression jokes because it's like huh well we're, at least we're not the only one out there relatability uh, is, is it's, definitely yes, yeah. it's, it's really great and it provides like, comfort yeah and it like weirdly provides harmony. and like with the resolution specifically it's very good because like you know everyone want everyone wants to try to make something that's very positive and tries to uplift people and like that's a very good thing so yeah People do appreciate it, even if they don't say it. Well, you know, I just, if I could, I mean, I, I, I want to make, even if it's just, if it's in, uh, I mean, real life interactions or just social media interactions, yeah. I just want to make sure that everything that I post isn't, or anything that I share isn't something inherently negative. It's something that's going to, yeah. that's going to bring, I, I want to make sure that everything that I'm going through and that I'm posting is to help better that environment, that atmosphere that's currently, I feel like bringing a lot of people down. 
So yeah, yeah. Mm. Anyways, that's what I got. Brad, what is your Bradley New Year's resolution? Slater? Uh, <laughs> right, more beer. <laughs> <laughs> well, brew uh, till the day is done. <laughs> Uh, I mean, not to completely, you know, take Tyler's resolution, but, you know, I, I, I too, want to just, you know, I, I want to, want to uh, like, there's, I've always been like, oh, I want to go make, like, you know, um, uh, Raspberry Pi Game Boy. I yeah. I want to make, like, a, yeah. Um, yeah. Like an emulator, like, all this kind Hell of stuff. Yeah. Um, I always talk about doing it, but I, I never get around to doing it. You know, part of it's, you know, it's hard to find time these days, but. Babies are very time consuming. Oh, sure. Definitely, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just a bit. But, but how can you be mad at that? Hey, man. You're you know what? Slamming this remote on the floor. You're <laughs> building a thing of excellence, which is a beautiful baby girl, man. I mean, seriously. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, she's obviously into electronics. Yeah, how could yeah, you hate you that? Got the she's, she's eating the remote. <laughs> yeah. she's, she's like, she likes it. But yeah, so uh, I'm, I'm just going to kind of resolve to try and do more of these projects that I want to do. You know, like you know, actually take these to to completion. Which, thankfully, you know, since I'm about to start this you know job where I get to work from home full time, uh, you know, that's going to afford me more time to be able to do those sorts of things. And, you know, just, just be home to, you know. Make sure you use that time for the right purpose because a lot of times what happens is whenever you have jobs like that, yeah. you just sit there and you browse Reddit. And that's, <laughs> that's the yeah, hardest that thing. That brings yeah, you I mean, down. Yeah. Yeah. It does. Reddit, and, you know, you're like. Black hole. <laughs> I don't get projects done. Yeah. I just, I get on YouTube or something. Right, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Get on Twitter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, like you know, I'm 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 definitely I'm definitely guilty of that. Like you know, I was I was probably pretty bad at that in college, uh, you know, because like we we had MMS where we were working. Oh, uh, like, you know, we we were. Hey, we what were the hell were you doing totally at MMS? MMS. Yeah. yeah. For those who don't know what MMS is, please so, tell me. So uh, MMS was the computer repair shop at our university. Oh, yeah. all of us worked yeah. there for yeah. it, uh, except like except, except for Joseph. For Joseph. Uh, okay. All of us. Joseph kind of worked. Well, well Joseph works at business. He's basically our sister department. One of our sister departments. Okay. Yeah. 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 I can see why you guys. Yeah. <laughs> but the four of us here, we all worked at this computer repair shop, and it, it's it, it, like for for a campus job, it was so easy. Like you know, these computers would come in, you would figure out what's wrong with it, you replace a part. Yeah. But other than that, you're just sitting there. You get to do homework. You know, yeah. you get to sit there, browse on Reddit. It was it was a great job. A lot of Reddit. Yeah, yeah. A lot, a lot of, a lot of that's how he got down the road. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So yeah, you know, like, great, great job for you know college kids. But you know, um, it 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 kind of it yeah. kind of pushes you a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Well, okay, so after Deke left, it got a little bit dark. Uh, <laughs> but, um, I mean, it kind of pushes you down that kind of procrastination uh, yeah. habit. You know, it kind of builds it. Because, like, you're, you're, you're there at work, and you know, you're on Reddit, and then you go home, and you're like, oh, Reddit was pretty fun. Let me get back on Reddit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> Those were the good old days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, like, now I get home. I don't even have time to get back, get back on Reddit, you know. And, uh, you don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to, but I'm also helping, you know, uh, the wife take care of the baby. You know, yes. I'm, I'm trying to do these projects here at home. I, I got the 3D printer. I'm printing all, all this. All this. Well, see, yeah, that's yeah, what I was going to ask. Like, do you think this 3D printer is going to help in that? Oh, effort? yeah, 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 yeah. Because, like, like uh, Kara's really that's pressuring cool. me to make her an emulator. So I just I nice. just to in, uh, in today I got a bunch of different filaments to print out a uh, NES case. Ooh, gonna, nice, yeah. Nice. So I'm gonna print a little yes. NES case, Neat. put the Raspberry Pi in there, make it make my own NES classic to give to Kara. You got all the emulators on there that she wants. She wants a what Earthbound. Yeah. Wait, Earthbound. Earthbound. Yeah, you play Great Earthbound. Place. Great game. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's like the big one that she wants. Why the name. year award? <laughs> <laughs> and then four days in. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> and then like what I really want to do is. Um, uh, I wanted. I I just got the Raspberry Pi Zero. Yeah, yeah. So those are so freaking nice. Yeah. Dude. So I want to turn that into the the the, the handheld one. The handheld yeah. Game Boy. Nice. There you go. Nice. That's really cool. Yeah. So that's gonna be fun. So the three D printer and you know let me print all those cases and things like that. And then um, right now I'm printing upgrades for the three D printer on the three D printer. So that's. <laughs> uh, I think they missed it earlier. Talk about that. Yeah, so like yeah, this this printer like it, it's just kind of a design that's really fun. There's a lot of upgrades that you can do to the printer to make it you know better and upgrade the quality. And a lot yeah. of them you just print the upgrade on the 3D printer and then just you know put it onto the printer. That's <laughs> sick. <laughs> Self assembly. Yeah. 2018, man. Future is here. Print your own future. Yeah. <laughs> So you know that's that's my resolution. Projects ah, get things done. That's awesome. Yeah, that's really cool. There's something that's so really cool. About creating your own thing. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Like YouTube and Reddit and all that's fun. You get a little pleasure from that. But when you create something, exactly. Like, yeah. Being yeah. a creator yeah, in general sure. is yeah. great. Yeah, being a creator in general is very gratifying. <laughs> yeah, very much worth the sleepless nights. Yeah, yeah. 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 for sure. All right, Bobby. 
Oh, my turn. Uh, my resolution Bobber. for this year is 4K. 4K. That's it. No, like uh, <laughs> to kind of steal over from Zach and Tyler, it is kind of along the lines of me. Like I still work at MMS. So, and shout out to Shirook, the boss is awesome. He's, he's cool. He's a cool guy. Yeah, <laughs> buddy. Out. That job is definitely, has a lot of downtime. Because especially me, like whenever I have work, I'm just, I'll just get it done. I'll just sit there and I'll have like six hours to just sit there. And I will get on YouTube or Reddit for six hours and just be bored, I'm bored out of my mind. So, and it doesn't help at all because I'll get home and I'll be tired just to be sitting there all day not doing anything. And then I'll go home and I'll be like, oh, look, my Xbox is here. Do I have any homework? <laughs> Xbox. No, because I did it all at MMS. I did it all at work. And I'm like, okay, cool. So I'll just put my Xbox all day. And See, like, that's nice. It's nice, it's but nice. it's like... But it's, mediocrity I'm not, I'm not is, is the grounds for, for it, negative yeah, thoughts and failure. Feels, like, exactly. real. Like, it's just <laughs> like... And I, I have so many projects. I have so many, like, third-party Udemy and, like, you know, um, Lynda.com, like, like, just classes resources. online. Yeah. Resources. Resources yeah. that I, like, I start and I just never finish. I'll finish them, Bobby. Because I just sit there. So it's like, <laughs> this is the year where I'm going to, you know, actually follow through and stop holding back. Because I know I can do it. It's do not it. difficult. I'm just like... Oh, uh, you know, Reddit, YouTube, <laughs> Xbox, it's video games, and it's like that's cool. But I actually want to definitely follow through my projects, build up my pull up my portfolio, and like get the show on the road because it's just like it's, it's been a long time coming. It's time. It's time. It's time. Hopefully, graduating like you know this spring. Yeah. And, like, finally getting out of UNC. Oh yeah. Get get, get some and of then, them. Um, you know, certifications. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, I keep saying it. I'm going to keep saying it until I see some certifications. Certifications, Bobby. <laughs> Come on. Let's certifications, get, Joseph. Let's get the beer certification already, together. Come on. That's yeah, you. dude. Let's go take the class. <laughs> let's let's be Cicerones. Yeah. And then, Cicerone and, and, level one. Yeah. And then y'all go get a CCNA and then A plus <laughs> and then A plus and then uh, I am A plus. <laughs> <laughs> no, Certified no, no. ethical hacker. Yeah. I'm, I'm definitely going to go for that one. And then it's also just you know continuing the wholesome. The wholesome train, because the wholesome train, like, yeah, like, yeah, like Zach was saying, because I, I try wholesome to be as, I try to be as wholesome as possible. <laughs> like uh, some people refer to me as Black Santa, like I'll just buy you stuff. Black Santa, and, <laughs> no, seriously, like my roommates hate it because like I live with them and I'm like, oh man, like I don't, I want this really bad. Like, oh, that's cool. And next day, like two days later, <laughs> I got you. Yeah, Amazon Prime will be there. Like, wait, where did this come from? I'm like, <laughs> 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 that was Back me. Back whenever Scott, Bobby, and I used to live together, um, Bobby would always do random ass shit like that yeah. or bring some really cool shit over home. Some <laughs> big ass jar of kimchi that he went over <laughs> yeah. to smart to get. And, and then we, Bobby, we'd, you make, live like, here? we'd make some super premium <laughs> ramen. Yeah. yeah dude. <laughs> super premium. No, Shin was, ramen, dude. Shin ramen amazing. black. Dude, yeah. Shin ramen black with the kimchi in it. Oh, good. my God. It was, yeah, it was, it, was, it, was, it was a good time. Those were the days. Those Y'all were the, the best roommates. <laughs> Same. So, you, were, yeah. you were great, too. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I get it. I get it. <laughs> no, Sorry. But it is about, like, you know, following through with, like, all my promises that I make to myself. Because, like, nothing's worse than, like, breaking a promise to yourself, you know? Yeah. Like, making a promise to someone else. Because you like, have nobody to be disappointed in yeah, but yourself. yourself. And it's Aww. like, oh, man, I totally said I was going to do that, but you don't do it. You know? I have a, I'm the worst. <laughs> yeah, so. I have a strong belief, man, that I, I think if you're a positive person uh, and you're positive to everybody else, that positivity is stuck with you. And then with that positive energy, you can kind of redivert that a lot easier. Oh, than shit, I got to find a charger. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you can <laughs> redivert that. <laughs> <laughs> to, nice interruption. I'm running low. <laughs> I need a charger. <laughs> you can redirect that into uh, into into positive. Uh, I mean, I- effort that you could use, or I I don't know, a stamina that you could use yeah. for some of your projects at home. Because that's one thing. If you're feeling down, dude, mm. you don't want to ever fucking do any kind of personal projects. You want to sit there and exactly. browse YouTube. You yeah. want to sit there you and watch the funny knowing. fucking memes, yeah. or you want to sit there and watch something that just yeah. cleanses your mind. Hey, buddy, how's it going? It's very personal on that side. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I, think- I understand too, brother. And you know what the thing is, is that, hey, everybody who's willing to just, even if that's their second or third choice in their New Year's resolutions or something like that, mm-hmm. if you could just be a little bit more positive, you know, make that, just smile at one extra person throughout your day. Hey, hold up. It's going to, it's a big change, man. It's hold, a big hold, change. Hold up. Dongle hell is killing me. Dongle hell. Dongle hell. Dongle hell. What level of hell is that? Okay, okay. So fifth level. Since I have this fancy new back MacBook. Yeah. MacBook. That only has USB C ports. Oh yeah. Dongle hell. It's beautiful. Dongle hell is manifesting. I plugged it into the same adapter as where the the mixer is, and I was like, oh hey, the driver was removed. Oh. Oh. So then we added drop. You know that Apple technology. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so 
You want to sit there and exactly. browse YouTube. You yeah. want to sit there and watch the funny dummy. fucking memes, yeah. or you want to sit there and watch YouTube. something yeah, that just cleanses your mind. <laughs> hey, buddy, how's it going? It's very personal on that. Yeah, you know, and that's a. Yeah. Yeah. God, I gotta say, we just had a drop, and I realized how much I hate my own voice. <laughs> <laughs> no, you fucking hey, hate my voice, dude. Positive. Yeah. Like your voice. Thank that's you. not positive. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, voice. You have a beautiful Don't. voice. Yeah, I like your voice. Hey, hey you know what else is key, too? You know what else is key, too? Is uh, making sure that you keep your friends close, because it'll keep you fucking positive, too. Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. Like, hey, hey, so I listened to this at, like, Two times speed, so all you guys are just chump monks to me <laughs> whenever I'm editing. So yeah, you just listen to fucking. I like, listen to so wait, it, it, it doesn't pitch it. correct. It's just like high voice. Yeah. It's just, <laughs> I listened to hours of the Chick <laughs> <Box laughs> album uh, a few days ago. And <laughs> let me tell you, it's not good. Not good. <laughs> no, I couldn't imagine that it would. It be. is awful. I, I just have to. I just have to listen for like a high pitch, like fuck, and a high pitch. <laughs> yeah, so it's just, uh, just I'm just gonna try to stay positive as, as normal. I can get pretty down and pretty dark sometimes, especially. But I love dark humor. Dark humor is awesome, but yeah, for sometimes, sure, you know, right. sometimes it's like, hey, it's a little like, too close. So, yeah, <laughs> some, some, of your, some, some of your friends, like oh, you know, no. I need some help, and like you know, like you never know, like what Scott says, you know, you never know what someone else is going through. Yeah, it's, it's important to just be like, hey, I'm gonna hold the door open for this person because like they might have a bad day. It might make their day. You never know. Yeah, yeah exactly. you know? Or they might be like, hey, I don't need that. Yeah, like, yeah I, don't, I don't need that. It's actually happened to me don't before. Hey, <laughs> shout Twice. out to the dude in Chicago that hold the door open for man. That was mm. yeah. shout out to that dude. <laughs> in Chicago. Uh, hey man, wherever you hey, are, hey, straight up. <laughs> you, you, you remember that? I some, got it. You remember that time that me, you, and Zach were like walking to lunch and we were talking. And <laughs> <laughs> this dude, this dude, like, yeah, Phil is okay, the rest of us. No, no, okay. no, no, no. This uh, on, is this was on a, my on my defense or on his defense, I guess, because I'm, I'm vouching for this guy. I was yelling pretty, pretty loud. I don't think you. were. I don't give a shit. You're outside. <laughs> there could be an ambulance. Okay, 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 all right, so, 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 so we, <laughs> tell the story. Me, I, I me, me, Zach, and Bobby like had a calculus class together oh, one, one, one semester. Beautiful. It was a shit show. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bobby and I failed. So I I'll failed too. Yeah. <laughs> It's okay. We all failed the class. Oh, anyway, uh, <laughs> that's not the, that's not important. <laughs> that's not the story. <laughs> so, like after class, we would go to lunch, and we were walking to lunch on campus, and we were just talking. I I swear, we were just talking. I don't think yeah. you were yelling or anything like that. We I were think, just talking. I think it's because I was I was the close next to him, and like I have it a pretty, probably like you you have a loud voice. I have a loud just, voice, yeah, just, you know, and I I just said something, and you, I it's laughed. not loud. It's booming. Anyway, was, anyway, actually, this dude next to us on the <laughs> phone turns and he's like, "Hey, I'm on the phone," and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I looked at him. I I was like, yo, sorry. <laughs> and like, I was like, no, seriously, sorry, man. <laughs> so I didn't want to be mean. And he's like, beautiful. Really angry face, like, and gets back on his phone. But you know, we're, we're like, sounds <laughs> to me like he was a racist. <laughs> he was, no, he was, he was black. black. He was black. <laughs> he was black. Yeah. He was a self-hating racist. I mean, what can I say? He was like, hey, hey, I'm on the phone, man. And I was like, oh, yo, sorry. And I was like, oh, no, seriously. Seriously, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, right, man. Chill out. I'm actually sorry. Before so I get sorry. shot or something. On Please, campus. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was just weird, it was man. It funny. I thought it was hilarious. But yeah, so like, you know, I just want to keep up with making people laugh and doing good things positivity and it goes places yeah, yeah it and does then, and actually following through with like things i'm going to say i'm going to do because like, if, I'll if be that like, guy was more positive he might have had a better phone conversation yeah, exactly. right exactly yeah, yeah. yeah. that phone conversation went badly because he wasn't happy yeah. yeah he was probably getting some bad news too like he had just probably. lost all of his bitcoin because it was around that time. <laughs> <laughs> it was about the time of the bitcoin crash whenever all this happened so what he was, was that probably, like what was that? 2015, 2014. 2014. That mountain, what is that like called? Mount Gox. Mount yeah, Mount Gox. Gox. Crash. Magic the Gathering Online Exchange. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it stands for. Oh, my. Seriously, look it's it up. Beautiful. I'm not kidding. <laughs> well, yeah, like, it's crazy. It this was is like why I don't a, play Magic the Gathering. It was like a couple. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, yeah, so here's the thing. This is like... When, when I first heard about Mount Gox, it's like, okay, so cool. It's called Mount Gox. Beautiful. And then, like, no, no, it's, it's Magic the Gathering Online Exchange. And, like, somebody's like, why the hell would you call a Bitcoin exchange Magic the Gathering Online Exchange? And somebody was like, well, you do realize that this is a currency for nerds, right? Yeah, no, 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 come on. This was, this was before it got mainstream. Yeah, like, this was before mainstream. This is before your grandma was like, do you have any of those Bitcoins? <laughs> 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 
points. Definitely before it was in the That was my parents over uh, <laughs> over Christmas break. Hey, did you buy any Bitcoin? That was my mom. Like, <laughs> you're like, a year Ethereum, ago. bitch. <laughs> bitch, I'm rich right now, dude. Give me those Bitcoins. Break a table. Hey, a shout out to Ethereum. Vitalik, uh, you did a great job. $1,000 as of this week. Wow. I bought yeah, it whenever it was only right. like $20, $30, and it just hit $1,000 this week. And I uh, so, so you want to buy me a Lambo? Oof. I <laughs> I gotta pay off my massive amounts of student loan debt, and, and then and then you'll buy me a Lambo. Hey, same. So yeah. I, say, I remember when they had bitcoins were like a hundred dollars, and that's how you used to buy uh, drugs. Fake IDs. Yep. Yes, oh, fake yeah. IDs, All drugs. Yeah. Yeah. Fake IDs and that. drugs. Grenade launchers, yeah. uh, hitmen. <laughs> nearly, nearly invest in Bitcoin to get a fake ID. Yeah. Like, uh, fun fact about no, myself. That. Guess what? That would have been the most roots. expensive yeah. ID you would have ever bought. I know. <laughs> by, by the time, yeah, looking, if I actually got it, it'd probably be like, man, this Bitcoin, this ID. You would have had $17,000. Well, hey, let's yeah. talk yeah. about that, uh, that 10,000 Bitcoin uh, pizza. Oh, I, oh again, I, yeah. I, I, wait, I wait, still wait, wait, feel wait. like it's not worth bringing up because you no, have, I want to bring it up. So it, you have no concept that it would have even gone. You want to you want to you want to know how much that pizza is worth right now? I don't care because no, I want to tell you at the time. How much I, I is the number right now? Okay, tell it. Tell us. What's the motherfucking number? So, so assuming the Bitcoin's around fifteen thousand right now, I think okay. it is. 16. No, 16? It's sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. Still going 16, up, baby. Nine. Let me let me adjust. Yeah. Six, oh, 160 million dollars. Okay, oh, excuse me, <laughs> but it's. <laughs> You think but, that that guy could have just Trump like Tate. I'm gonna be hungry Trump for Tate. today and I'm gonna forget about my big no, no 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 you know at the time that he bought it he had no idea that it would go up so much it doesn't matter that pizza still cost him <laughs> no it didn't it cost him how much it was at the time but, but it's but, simple up uh, nobody had ever seen a, oh, okay uh, would you rather have a pizza or a hundred it's like million people, dollars? Okay, okay you know the pizza could be worth hundred yeah million but million. at the time hell no <laughs> what wait what? <laughs> have you ever had a, had a hundred sixty million dollar pizza? No, no you haven't. haven't. It just, he has, man. It's a, it's man, I hope that wasn't like a rogue Pizza Hut employee that was gold, just taking Bitcoin. Gold cheese. Oh, sh- well, if it was a rogue Pizza Hut employee, he's not working at Pizza Hut anymore. No, but you, no, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, seriously, because like he could have just pocketed that and like used his own. Money out of his to own order pocket. Order a pizza, yeah, 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 like, yeah. Or, or, or just tell the manager, yeah, like he wasn't there, so I just chucked the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> what hey, man, I used to work at Papa John's, and anytime we got a false call in, yeah, we we fucking chucked the pizza straight into our stomachs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm so, saying. Yeah. Yeah. Also, you probably just took those Bitcoin. Dogecoin uh, came out. Like, Dogecoin, Doge, dude. Dogecoin. Yeah, I've got like, like a hundred and something dollars. Sixteen thousand Dogecoin right now. So yeah. Going. So. So for people who don't know, Dogecoin actually hit one cent pretty one. recently. Wow! I had, Congrats, but Dogecoin. which is an all-time high. Yeah, yeah, which is an all-time deal. high, but it's also <laughs> super easy to mine. Or it was. Well, super it was. It was. Not it was. So back in the day, whenever Brad and I used to live together, we used to mine. We had an entire mining kit set up with all of our laptops and desktops Ooh. all mining at the same time. <laughs> and I kind of scammed my way into a graphics card for mining. Yeah, and then you he like <laughs> really, he, he, he got us. I think I think you were the one that got us all into mining overall at the the very beginning and uh yeah we had mined i had mined sixteen thousand. i think you were up to like what 50 60 000, something I, like that? I had wow. a decent amount of dogecoin what pissed me off the most about dogecoin is that that was also around the time that we tried to make a wii u game yeah yeah, yeah i remember that <laughs> and called dogecoin no <laughs> okay. um so i i was trying to pull out some dogecoin to buy the sdk that we were going to use right for for making it so I transferred a hundred dollars worth of Dogecoin to an exchange to transfer it to Bitcoin because the place only accepted Bitcoin, right? Uh, not Dogecoin. <laughs> but the exchange I used, it just disappeared. Oh, oh god! No. And they didn't have like any support line or anything like that, so of the money course. was just gone. Well, I will say though, the one thing that Dogecoin has going for it right at this minute, because everything is hit like mainstream now with all the shit coins. I wrote the, the first Bitcoin Dogecoin wallet for iOS. I want to put that on public record. <laughs> Congratulations! You should actually. <laughs> I uh, I was witness to this. That, that I do was remember that, that was like pre before you could even have wallets on iOS, wasn't it? Was like it? Well, not like a thirteen. Like because like the whole thing with like you know wallets on iOS was that like. Most of the the wallets you had for Bitcoin was like connected to a server somewhere else yeah. that like somebody else was managing. Yeah. But like Dogecoin wasn't big enough to have those kinds of services. And I was like, well, I'm certainly not going to fit, fit the entire blockchain onto a phone. <laughs> right. Or you didn't want that because it was going to take up all your space. Yeah. Right. So yeah, so like the way I wrote it, it was like okay, uh, like I wrote a guide to go with it because it went into the jailbreak store because it couldn't go onto the app store either. That's what I was saying. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. because Apple was like okay, we're not doing we're not doing digital currency right now. Not um, yet. So right. I I wrote it to go on the jailbreak store. I wrote a guide to go with it, and I was like okay, so take a Raspberry Pi, 
put the Dogecoin wallet on it, and then it's going to connect to the app that I wrote, and then that's your wallet. And like it, it did work, and people, some people used it, uh, but then eventually, you know, better solutions came out, and like you know. Well, now you can actually have a wallet. Did yeah, yeah, now you can actually have a wallet. <laughs> but I wrote the first one. Oh, sorry. Did Doge it was a big deal. Like, you were awesome. a pioneer. No, I was a pioneer. Did Dogecoin have a NASCAR uh, sponsorship? Yes, they yes. did. Okay. NASCAR, yes. and then not make that up. It also <laughs> paid for yes. the Japanese, or not the, the Jamaican bobsled team to go to the Olympics that year. The winner. I the totally forgot about that one. That so is Dogecoin was a serious thing. Well, no, like the thing is, is that like yeah, Dogecoin was gaining a lot of like momentum. Yeah, and, but like, then you know, they, they, they have, forked it twice. Okay, so, or so like, like before that. that even happened. Uh, so like you know, there's the NASCAR sponsorship. There was the what the other thing y'all just said. Jamaican bobsled. Jamaican that one. Jamaican bobsled. There was a Jamaican bobsled <laughs> that happened. Um, there were some. There was like a donut shop that actually accepted Dogecoin as like a currency. Uh-huh. Things like that started happening. But like the, the whole thing with like the Dogecoin community, especially on Reddit, was like, oh, we don't care about price. We're like a friendly community, and we want to like you know give yeah. Dogecoin to oh, people. No. Oh, and yeah. I'm just like, stop it! You're killing the currency. You're killing the price. It's not going to work. But the thing yeah. was Literally, though is that they nowadays don't value it, so it has no value. Exactly. Well, yeah. People people did value it later in time, and so every later has, in time they did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But course. all those stupid but hippies, you know, just <laughs> were like, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> so uh, well, the thing was is that you needed shit coins to be become popular. Shit coins? Yeah, exactly. What are shit, shit coins? coins? Alt coins. What about- Any alt coin that's out there, though. <laughs> called shit coins, dude. It's a meme-based currency. Hey, I love Dogecoin for the fact, okay, functionally speaking, transactions still only take about two seconds to actually occur, whereas Thank Bitcoin God. and stuff like that dude. is taking weeks, Minutes. months. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I just weak. bought a bunch I of Litecoin. Not I to just- mention it costs like $25 to send two bucks. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, freaking... I actually yes. did not know that either. I just uh, <laughs> bought a bunch of Litecoin and uh, just for uh, transferring over to another altcoin currency, and it's going to take seven days for me to get my Litecoin. The wow. thing is, is so that's that, just Coinbase, right? Huh? That, that's just Coinbase with a bank Crackin'. transfer, right? Cracker? Oh, cra- cracker. Cracker, yeah. Cracker. All those crackers with <laughs> wow. their fucking cryptocurrencies and Not shit dead, like that. Hey. Kraken offered the better price. Thanks for being a racist. Uh, <laughs> Hey, I'm, I'm just trying I don't to spread positivity on the internet. Call. 2018 is all about positive. positive vibes. I've lost my. Uh, I don't even resolution. know where that came from. <laughs> no, uh, no, uh, Kraken. But I mean, the thing is, is that no matter what, uh, even though it's a joke currency, I feel like still it is increasing in price, and no matter what, people are getting involved in cryptocurrency. I think it's just increasing because of the crypto bubble. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I'm waiting for it to pop. I heard of Bitcoin, and I was like, oh my god, I need to get on this cryptocurrency thing, and now I'm going to jump on it. So, yeah, yeah, I need to get out of my I, fucking yeah, I don't know if it's, soon. I hope it lasts longer, but I'm also kind of like, there's a lot of people jumping on board because they heard it on CNN. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, it's like I don't everybody... Think it's gonna, I don't think it's going to go away. Um, it's not going to go away, but, but like, like... No, it won't. It will it pop. Extremely it less. Pop. Well, yeah, the, yeah. It'll pop again. Yeah, the thing is, is like, you know, it the whole idea behind Bitcoin was to be a currency, where right now it's an investment. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. You're, you're putting yes. money into it with the hopes that the value is going to go up, but that's not the idea behind Bitcoin. Bitcoin was supposed to be a currency. You're supposed to be able to buy goods and services. The with problem it. with it, though, is, is though, is that it can't scale with the growth. Well, the the problem was is that uh, all of the all of the currencies right now, the cryptocurrencies are cri- are currently going through this kind of race right now. Who can yeah. handle the same level of transactions that Visa can? The Visa standard is now the same gold standard that happened back in the 50s, okay? So just like how the dollar was reinforced with gold, um, cryptocurrencies are reinforced by their transaction speed, I feel like, nowadays. And the thing is is that every – so Visa can handle, say, I want to say like what, 10,000 transactions a second, some crazy number like that. Whereas a Bitcoin or something else can only handle uh, probably around, I mean, I, I'm guessing probably the top can only handle about 100 transactions a second. Yeah. So yeah, keep that low. in mind. Yeah. That right there is part of the reason why these cryptocurrencies can't become currencies because unless you can find a more. Not yet. No, not yet, not yet, yeah, not yet. Yeah, we yeah. need to have faster internet speeds. We need to have more efficient code. No, I don't, I don't have... think internet speed is, is the problem. Internet speed is definitely not the problem because these nodes can talk to each other. The miners can talk to each other very quickly. It, it doesn't like even even on like a slower speed. It, it's not the big deal. IOTA is a good example of that for yeah. sure. Like the, the the problem is is that Bitcoin didn't scale properly with with its growth and the community developing it couldn't agree. Yes, and well, then you have all these have, forkings like yes. we Bitcoin, have Bitcoin Cash, Cash Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Cash, Bitcoin Core, Bitcoin, Bitcoin yeah. Gold, Bitcoin yeah. Gold. The thing is, is that you have all of these other. The thing is, is that you have a. 
That's a good part about having a centralized currency system is that you do agree on one thing thing and you keep moving forward. But the thing is, is that whenever you have a good development team with a good development strategy that is, I guess, partially centralized, I think that's part of the reason why Ripple's doing well right now, but also Ripple's really corrupt. We'll save that for another cast. Well, I mean, like, (laughs) technically, Bitcoin Core is centralized if you think about it because, I mean, it's supposed to be, you know, like... It's open source and anybody can contribute to it, but you had a group of maintainers that, yes. like, you know, their job is to actually keep track of it and you make sure that nothing bad goes in there. But the problem is, is that when, you know, they initially had the problem with the block sizes right. and all that kind of stuff. Gas limits. You know, the, gas the, prices, the, the core developers couldn't agree. And then, you know, schisms began. And then that's when the forks started happening, mm-hmm. and that's why we have we still have super slow transaction times, super yeah. high transaction fees. Well, then yeah. can you argue that it was actually truly centralized? If it was able to schism as easily, it's not centralized, that it was, but it's not supposed to be centralized. It was never supposed it, to be. But the thing is, Bitcoin though, Bitcoin is the most centralized. Is it supposed of to be the cryptocurrency? It's no, be, no, yeah, Ripple yeah. is. Yeah. Ripple is. Oh, that's true. That is Ripple true, yeah. is it's funded and backed most. by the banks and stuff like <laughs> that. It is currently. <laughs> it's been proven that it can be it's shorted because a lot of the coins are being held on to the core team and stuff like that, the initial investors, so they can short that shit out whenever they're ready. Yeah. It's a really common well, strategy in the early days of the stock market. And, I'll, and I'll, I'll tell you, and I've talked about this on, on Slack, but my biggest fear is is that Coinbase is getting too big. It yeah. is, it, it is, is and I will, I, I don't, but the thing is though, is wait, that wait, whenever whoa, whoa, it goes whoa. public. So for people who don't know, Coinbase is a currency exchange where you can actually buy and sell. The largest you, you, you one. Can, you can take yeah, the US, largest one. Yeah, you can take your U.S. dollars one. and translate them into Bitcoin yeah. or Litecoin or Ethereum. Yeah, yeah. But they're getting or too Bitcoin big. Cash. So many people are using them. And I saw at one point that, like, you know, as far as, like, U.S. dollars to Bitcoin exchange, um, Coinbase accounts for, like, way over half of, you know, yeah. the actual trading going on, yeah. which scares me because Bitcoin, no, I, I think Coinbase will be big enough that they have so much influence on the currency that I think they can start influencing the development of the currency. Right. But the thing is, though, is that that's why there's a couple of cryptocurrencies coming out, like IOTA, which is Internet of Things, whatever the A stands for. That's all mine. But it's... it's ah! uh, that's a big one. <laughs> and then uh, Ethereum... <laughs> Ethereum being the other big one. Because cryptocurrency can be used for its blockchain technology alone, and whenever it's actually backed for its uh, back-end technology, being able to, for example, Ethereum, being able to... I think think it's MasterCard has an API now that's letting developers use their blockchain technology. For uh, Ethereum. And then the same goes for Citibank as well, from a couple of sources that I know. Yeah, Citibank. A lot of uh, larger ones. The thing is, is that blockchain technology can be used for encryption purposes. Yes. So if if your backend, if your uh, protocols are used... Let's not forget about the Long Island blockchain company. (laughs) <laughs> Fucking shut up, <laughs> Brad. No. Mm-mm. My thing Mm-mm. is, is that you know, if you can, if you, the thing is that it's gonna pop. The bubble's gonna pop. I want, I, I want to go ahead and make that prediction right now. Put my hand Man. down. This is yeah, gonna the, happen. The bubble when is gonna it, pop. When I mean, will it pop? That's my it's gonna pop. That's this yeah, year. I mean, we're, 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 it's gonna pop this year. So a few months. The singularity. We're gonna, already in a correction because it's, it's yeah, gonna yeah, pop yeah, this yeah. year. It's we we pop were this year we sure. were really close to twenty thousand. Yes. No, we were. Everyone we jumped it. in. We hit it. Oh, okay. We hit twenty thousand. We hit like twenty thousand, like four hundred something. Yeah, but now we're down like you know five thousand dollars. No, but the thing is though is that it is volatile, but those cryptocurrencies will fall off. But the thing is, is that IOTA and like Ethereum, basically currencies that use the coin that comes off of it as like a a side little deal for miners to be able to go ahead and spend and get some money off of it um, and still focus mainly on their blockchain development for encryption purposes for large companies and enterprise users. Those currencies are the ones that are going to be surviving because the thing is that we have this problem now with security. Security is becoming a bigger and bigger thing every year. We just saw the same problem. This is a different, this is a different kind of problem than uh, uh, most encryption problems that we have going on, but with Intel and stuff like I'm that. talking about Meltdown Inspector? Meltdown, meltdown Inspector. Oh, it's, yeah, a hardware, meltdown. It's, it's a hardware problem, <laughs> but what I will say is that Security is a huge issue in this day and age. We see it with you know elections going on. We see it with the hardware being created. Um, blockchain is a way to secure people logging into their bank accounts and stuff mm-hmm. like that securely yeah. and nobody intercepting that shit. Um, I mean, it's the closest thing that we have to security besides until the time comes whenever we have uh, uh, quantum 
yeah, you know, kind of quantum, shit coming out. See, uh, Joseph and I are going to fix that, though. That yeah, I know you all are. That's what I'm right, hoping for. But until then, I'm going to keep <laughs> trusting in things like Ethereum and yeah, Iota. I know, no, no. You're right, you're right. Of course. The hey, ones so, that don't rely on the currency will the ones that survive. If you guys had $25, just $25 to invest in any cryptocurrency to like today, right now, like what would you invest in? Ripple. Do- Dogecoin, because that's the only one I know besides Bitcoin. <laughs> Sorry. <All right>. Solid. <laughs> uh, Solid. I-, I think I'd have to go with Ethereum. Yeah. Oh, my. I'm way wrong. <laughs> <laughs> boy, my boy. I think I would go with Ethereum or Ripple. The thing I'm mad about Dogecoin, though, actually, is because I remember you actually gifted me some Dogecoin. I did. When we first started, and I had it on my old Note 3. I did it because that was when I was developing the wallet. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I also second witness, you know, to, to Zach's first witness. That was part of that witness. calculus class. Yeah. And then we went out there and got yelled at by that black guy. Yeah. He's <laughs> 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 it's it's a black it's guy. It's all connected. It's circle. So, Excuse me, you guys. I'm on the phone. I was, <laughs> I was super mad about that when I heard that Dogecoin hit uh, sent because I'm. You gave me. I don't. I don't know how much you gave me. You gave me it was like, uh, like a few hundred. Yeah, it was a few hundred, and then like I added more to that. <laughs> I got more, and I was like, okay, cool. And that it was on that Note Three yeah. that I had, and then yeah. my stepdad used that Note Three, and I think it's at my parents' house. Well, go tear it up. And if it was, if, it, if it's there, if that I, phone's there, burn like, it down to the ground. <laughs> I can just get those coins, dude. Back. I had sixteen dollars the last time that I checked back whenever it was worth nothing. Now I have one hundred and forty-six dollars. So I mean, it's not that much, but I mean, it's, I had like one hundred forty-six dollars. I had. So why didn't you use that sixteen dollars to buy a pizza, and then you could figure <laughs> out how much that pizza's worth uh, now? It's all yeah. about my Ethereum right now, man. I'm banking on it's that. About shit. the ETH. ETH. Okay, so we got a little bit of time. Do we want to talk about anything else before we get to the beer? Let's let's talk about them. Yeah, okay. let's talk they, about they, them. They kind of so didn't. So really who get are you guys? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're Poison Pigeon, and we're a thing that is. Uh, yeah, we're, we're yeah, you, we're yeah, I mean, so like, oh cool, yeah, you, yeah, we're filmmakers. For, from what I understand, you ha- y- y'all have a a podcast as well. Yes, we do. We so have, what's up with that? Are you trying to compete with us? You know, <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are actually going against the same demographic. Uh, <laughs> We're very, very different demographics for sure. All right, can yeah, you guys no, right. give us some recommendations on like film and stuff like that? Yeah, because actually, I mean, we we can give you recommendations on cryptocurrencies all day. Uh, apparently. Well, yeah. what do you want to know about film? What, if you're looking for what's like in theaters or like right now, well, right can now. you tell us something about maybe even like Netflix, the things that resolutions, yeah. things to watch in 2018 okay. on Netflix <laughs> and well, other the, the hidden I'll gems see, of I'll Netflix? Give you one uh, recommendation off the top of my head. Do not watch Bright. Uh, someone who watched Sorry, it. Sorry, I already watched it. Okay. Is it really bad? It's, it's, uh, a it's, it's, it. it's, yeah. it's okay. Um, it's okay. The, okay, by okay, I mean, if Don't you want to watch, spoilers unless you if you want to watch a really bad movie, go watch Bright. Um, there's a lot outside Ooh, of Bright. Spicy. With, Very spicy. With, um, there's with, a lot outside with of Bright. Max Landis. Yes, and, with the writer yeah. Max Landis, who is a, um, who has allegations against him. Douchebag. So wait, 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 wait. Can we go back to the beginning? So what, what yes. is Bright actually about? Give us just a general it's, synopsis it's for about that. A, it's about cops. One of them is Will Smith and the other one is Shrek. Oh, is it the orc? <laughs> yeah, it's the orc. Yes. Yeah, it's like yeah. the, and this takes place in a fantasy universe with uh, so wait, 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 wait. humans. Uh, I, I, I missed it. Yes. Did, did, did you say not not to watch that one don't watch no, it it's, it, it's there's a really a lot of why not to watch yeah it. there's there's a lot of like subtle it's not really subtle but there's a lot of undertones comparing to like racial a stuff. lot of racial tensions yeah. in it and then like there's dude there's i got racial tensions from zootopia yeah. <laughs> but zootopia is okay they actually tackle that with this one it's very much kind of like it's like hey, hey racial tensions um hi i'm max landis i'm the writer and you know what i did? max landis the writer is that the uh the secondary the orc that's riding with will smith no no no, no. he's the writer he's the writer he's the writer, he's the writer. He's the writer. So, so he's, writer oh my god so he, <laughs> sorry sorry so I, I didn't know if it writer so, was so he like sat a, down he, with like a stack of paper yes. and wrote the words he that they were going to say. Like, this is about <laughs> blue lives matter. It's very – there's a lot of racial undertones that is kind of like, hey, we're going to address kind of like a lot of what's happening in America compared with cops and everything. But we're not going to tackle it in a very hmm. nice way. And mm. okay. the guy who wrote it has sexual allegations. It's very – it's a big deal. Him and his father are both – Yeah. Like, and I mean, I think like Mike Drucker was even saying like yes. about his father, like yes. which Mike Drucker is a comedian, but yeah, yeah like yes. his father did you know bad things. It, and, like like yeah. what happened um, a few days ago, or actually maybe it was yesterday with uh, Dan Harmon, the creator of com- of Community. Wait, what happened? He um he has he has allegations. He has allegations. Oh no! Yeah. Uh, so basically, 
PSA to everyone listening to uh, to this uh, podcast: Do not look to do not look up to anyone in Hollywood right now. <laughs> uh, because Wait, Dan Harmon out. is it confirmed or how, it's, how solid it's not does it confirmed? Look like? But the but the but the writer who uh, was uh, part of his team and community on seasons one through three. Uh, went out and guessed him on Twitter last night, and you can read oh, them. Shit. And Damn. Dan Harmon did apologize. He did apologize. So like, I'm going to say that these are probably confirmed. It okay? But is it is it is it actually it's not like, admission of guilt, or is it, it just it, him like it, trying it is, to mitigate the? I will say it's actually an admission of guilt. He did say that like, I'm very sorry, specific I'm stuff. kind of an ass. Like, I'm an asshole. I'm sorry yeah. for all this thing, for all these things. Like, oh, I am shit. sorry in general. But what's crazy is. Yeah. It doesn't matter if, you, if it's true or not. Yeah. It, it, yeah, yeah. It's it, just it, like. It's the like, yeah, it's it's wave. Yeah. It's, 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 and it's, it's not. Like, it's good in a lot of ways because Hollywood is. The thing about Hollywood is there's no um, overarching government. Or right. Some, right now. It's, it's almost right like now. a cryptocurrency yeah. Yeah. in a yes. sense. Yes. <laughs> but, and so this is great. Good parallel. Bringing it back around, baby. <laughs> this is the what? first time we're having something happen in which Hollywood is being cleaned out. Repercussions. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Draining, draining the swamp. The swamp. <laughs> <laughs> yes. draining the swamp. But there is a good chance that there are, there's always a small chance that you got to look out that some of these allegations are not true. Mm. Of course. Of and course. Can, yeah. Unfortunately for Dan Harmon, that's, it, it, that's, that's, that's Dan he did he did basically confirm saying like I'm sorry. I did do this. I did do these things. Yeah. So it is unfortunate for him and like as someone who doesn't okay. As someone who doesn't actually like Rick and Morty, but loved Community, Community was a very big part of my childhood. Like, it, it, for sure, it was a great written show. Uh, really, show. It really, yeah. it really like helped me kind of figure out what I want to do eventually in yeah. the world. And like to see like someone that I kind of look up to be like, oh shit. And like again, I could go back to Louis C.K. earlier in 2017. Yeah, yeah. That, that, which was like, oh my god, me. I love Louis C.K. That He's great. Me. He. Like I love his humor, his uh, stand-ups are incredible. But then you realize, like you listen to what he was saying, like, oh yes, I go out and I like do these acts in front of these women. Like I just can't help myself. Like when he was doing these stand-ups, and then these allegations slash actual things happen, and you're like, ah oh, shit, I was laughing at him <laughs> yeah, telling the truth. Like, this wasn't yeah, a joke. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and now it's like, no, oh, these were these things that he yeah. actually did. And like, yeah. yeah, you do feel. Discussing, like, again, and to even go almost, back... Almost like you took part. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, you yeah. yeah, yeah like, to, like to go back to Harvey Weinstein, like, who really kicked off kicked everything. Off, and, yeah. like, you're going to keep going back. Like, you could look from the very beginnings of Hollywood. There's a lot of very bad people out yeah. there in do, Hollywood. Do, do, and it's kinda, good that this shit's happening. Yeah, finally. I kind of want to point out that it's not that it's just this. these things that are happening. These no. have been happening. It's yeah. Of course, yeah. of course. It's it started been with, happening for decades. It started with from Michael Jackson. Beginnings of Hollywood. Hollywood. It started with Roy Moore. It started with Bill Cosby. <laughs> so like Actually, we, yes. When yeah. You, when you, we're both film majors. Yeah. So when we you take history of film and you learn a lot about the history of film, and I mean, since the day that film was invented, it's been it's been ex handled. it's been expensive. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Scene, but there's nothing stopping that because it's all freelancers. Yeah, it's yeah. All people working on their own. So. This is the first time in a hundred years that film is actually actually almost a hundred years by now. Yeah, exactly. yeah, 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 yeah. And so that is the first time in a hundred years that like people are finally taking Did a you? stand and things are being done. So this is a huge, huge. Like I don't think people recognize how important this is for film. Right now. And it, so, do you think that this will ultimately bug, right? change the whole industry? I, 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 yeah. I'm a yeah. We're both big believers in it. Like, for example, like you see Patty Jenkins, who directed Wonder Woman this year uh, in 2017. Oh God, she did great. She too. did Amazing. wonderful. She did. She like. That's one of me and my girlfriend's favorite movies. It's, you could say incredible. she was the actual she Wonder Woman. Kicked. Yeah, she kicked out. <laughs> Good job to Gal Gadot for like oh. actually going out there. And She's my woman, woman crush that's right my, there that's too. My woman crush. Patty Jenkins <laughs> actually went out there. I'm telling Carla. Kicked, kicked she already back. knows. <laughs> we already have an agreement. If we can sit there and we can get her in. You know. <laughs> And like she was nominated, really she's been nominated for a lot of awards. I would not, I would not be shocked if she's nominated for an Oscar for Best Director for yeah. Wonder yeah. Woman. Yeah, for sure. Is, we're in a period of time in which women are finally taking over Hollywood, which is great. Yeah, yeah. It's amazing. It's yeah. wonderful because Hollywood is one of the most sexist industries. 
It oh, yeah, is. For sure. Yeah, yeah for, and sure. Like, for sure. Yeah, you could take it from like, okay, like let's be like superficial here or like let's be real. Yeah, you're listening to a bunch of guys talking about how sexist <laughs> Yeah, we're mansplaining it, but like we're, we're mansplaining be, how sexist Yeah, like <laughs> let's be real. Like I I really hope and I think with everything that's happening with the Me Too movement and then with the latest uh, coalition of uh, actresses who came together who are like, we're done with this. Yeah. I think this is a really positive and turbulent time in Hollywood. Like, it's going to be really different in a couple mm-hmm. of years. Yeah. yeah. Can I, it's oh, go ahead. Yeah. I was about to say, like, you know, everyone that I, I, I hate to be like the bear of bad news, but every probably famous director that you know of, like, I'm going to name a few here, like uh, Tarantino, he's going to be out. He's yeah. going to get it. Yeah. I mean, and he just did yeah. foot stuff. Yeah, so. yeah. Let's look at Uma I'm so glad you just said that. Scott's amazing. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Like, let's look at Uma Thurman's feet, and then let's compare oh, no. it to how Tarantino like, kind of is. No, oh, man. Yeah. 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 It's, yeah. It's For a, sure. It's such a male-driven industry. It's such an industry in which male men have so much power that women had nothing. I mean, like, yeah. you can get actors. Like, there's all these articles you can read about how women. Only be actresses if they're like 20, 30. They look yeah, like they're yeah. There's there's a specific lane, a uh, specific like age for them. Time. Yeah. And it's it's insane. We're finally at a part where women are coming in and saying, "No, we're retired." That point. <laughs> I remember I remember hearing about one thing <laughs> where it's like um, in the movie like Wizard of Oz, it was Toto the dog actually got paid more than yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. She was actually addicted yeah, to was, barbiturates really bad. And yeah. They actually. Yes. And yeah. she had to smoke cigarettes all the time, tape down her boobs. It was it was well, really yeah. bad. They, they did a lot like of like Captain Hepburn, for example. Yeah. yeah. Old school of Hollywood, they would like so the way it worked is you would um, get the contract to a studio for like yeah. seven years or so, mm-hmm. of course. Long. And when you became a star, the first thing they did, especially for women, the first thing they did was surgeries, plastic surgeries. So of course. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. Holy crap. Yes. Because they want you to promote their image. They're and like, you have like, to look this way. First thing that happened, you walked into Hollywood to make one big movie, and they're like, all right. Yeah, like, yeah. like for example, I don't know if you guys have. Here's a recommendation: if you guys haven't seen Lady Bird, uh, sorry, uh, I've heard it's really good. Um, Who is it? it again that uh, stars in that one? I've Sose. heard of it, but Sosha Ronan. Okay, gotcha. I know exactly. She uh, and it's directed by uh, Gertrude uh, Gertrude Gurin, I believe. Yeah, yeah Gurin. Just looked it up. <laughs> um, she that that whole movie is very much a love letter. Love letter to Sacramento. It's very beautiful, but with uh, Sosha Ronan, her. Her, like, her, how she just hold herself and how she actually, like, really got into the character. You don't, you really think that Shoshe is a 20, uh, sorry, is a 18-year-old person trying yeah. to get through with it. And, like, again, I know that this is a very hot take, but uh, I really <laughs> think that it should win Best Picture just for what it is. Like, even though, again... If you haven't seen Get Out, you should watch Get you should Out. That is a fantastic movie. You should watch Get Out. I was so sitting there good. thinking to myself, I was like, kill, so kill that bitch. Kill, kill that bitch. <laughs> Everyone in that theater, so, I was in a packed theater in Washington, uh, in downtown Seattle when I watched it. It was nice. like the opening weekend of Damn, it. Damn, dude. Nice. Totally packed. And everyone was there. Everyone there was like, "Oh my god, what is happening? Oh my god, this is kind of racist." But oh my god, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Alive. I sat there. I thought to myself, "I was like, I hate white people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm white as shit. I'm over here. I'm like, damn, dude. These guys, dudes, because you know they probably exist somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, no, Did you guys see the, like the second ending for it? Huh? Did you guys see the second ending for that movie? Oh, oh no. yes, that's like the second where he dies, right? Yeah. Is that it? Spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. Oh, sorry. <laughs> well, okay. I mean, so you saw the, the real. Movie, you saw the real. You saw the real. Like the, the real movie. movie. This isn't about the real movie. This is spoilers about to all of our uh, to all of our listeners. Second, about this is the second ending. Well, right. spoiler, spoiler everything now. Well, spoiler. Yeah. Okay. So, so did you know that yeah, Han Solo? <laughs> <laughs> all right. So without, without getting into that, um, let's, uh, let's let's move on a little bit. Okay. So we're gonna get back to this at the end. Uh, but okay. like, where, where where can people find your your podcast? Uh, you can find us on iTunes, which is under the Poison Pigeon Cast. Um, you can also find us on Stitcher, which is under the same thing, and Google Play. And if you want to look us up on SoundCloud, you can. And you can also fo- follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Um, yeah. Our No, but, so basically up. anywhere that you can find beers at the round table, you can probably find. Yeah, yeah. All right, Twitter, we're another Port local Pigeon. podcast. Yeah, Come yeah. find us, yeah. support your local podcast. Yeah. Exactly, support, support local, support creations. each other. We're all here. We're all in it together. All right, <laughs> so we're we're gonna bring it back around. We're gonna go ahead and talk uh, talk a little bit about the beer that we've been oh, drinking. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So a reminder for our listeners: we've been drinking uh, Creature of Habit from Great Raft Brewing. Uh, it's an Imperial Coffee Brown Ale. 
We're going to go around the table. Zach, what did you think? One out of ten. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give it a eight. Fantastic. Great execution. My problem with a lot of uh, a lot of ales in general, and whenever it comes to brown ales, is that there's a hint of sweetness to a lot of them, I feel like. Almost like a chocolatey sweetness. Um, it goes doubly so whenever you add that Imperial out at the very beginning. We at uh, Beers of the Round Table enjoy one of our subsidiaries, uh, uh, ba- our Angry Bear Brewing Company's uh, Big Green Grizzly Bear Imperial Stout. Uh, What's oh, the yeah. official name Shit. for that? <laughs> you Grizzly just made Green. me forget the name. Grizzly Green Bear. That's the one. Yeah, the Grizzly, yeah, Green, Grizzly Bear. Green Bear. <laughs> we, I, I like, I like the sweetness in that because it is inherently sweet. It takes on. Now, are you talking notes. about the IPA or the Imperial Stout? I'm talking about the Imperial Stout. That's not the Grizzly Green Bear. Well, I'm going to go ahead and say the That's the bears are. are. The bears are. <laughs> the bears are does it right because you guys focus on the sweetness. It offers the chocolatey sweetness. That's what it's going for. There's a lot of beers in between there that does half in, like half of that sweetness and half of the bitterness that's offered by coffee beans. I got to say this one focused more on the coffee beans is what I enjoy. You have to dedicate yourself to either one side or the other. And this did a really great job of bringing out the coffee on there. It was delicious. It wasn't too overpowering with like a over the top like aftertaste in my mouth. I was sitting here drinking whiskey afterwards, and my God, I was thinking to myself, man, I wish I had more of that beer. So uh, I got to say, solid eight out of 10. All right, good to hear. Uh, Joseph, what do you think? You, uh, you took my rating, Zach. Uh, definitely going to go with an eight out of 10 on this one just because I really like coffee. And I really actually would be curious. I don't know if maybe one of you guys had time to look it up, but I don't know what kind of coffee beans or coffee they used in this, and I could find on it on the bottle, not the bottle, the can. Um, I'd be interested to know because I could super it's, taste it, it that. Is, it is whole bean whole coffee. Bean. Okay. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was. I'm going to look it up. You so. could definitely <laughs> taste it. You could definitely taste that exactly. shit. Exactly. You could definitely taste it, and that was the thing that I really enjoyed about it is I'm – I'm by no means a heavy, heavy coffee drinker, but I do enjoy Oh, I coffee. fucking am. I yeah, enjoy, yeah, yeah. yeah, I enjoy my coffee, and this was a good cup. <laughs> That's good. All right. Um, of course, gets props for the art, too. But uh, Yeah, I, I really like their, their artwork. Always, yeah, on all brewer, their cans. This, this brewing company. All right. Um, Tyler? Tyler. All right. Give, yeah. us a, give us a 1 out of 10. Tell us what I you think. Like a 7.5. Yeah. A Whoa. All right. Right. And yes. I'm a huge coffee fan. I'm a huge beer fan. So, like, you know, when you drink one of these things, you can definitely pick out what is the more dominant one. And this one's definitely coffee. Oh, yeah. Which I, I love because, like, I've had a lot of beers when they, when they try to put infused coffee into their beer, they tend to just, they don't want to do too much because they're scared that it's going to take away from the beer. People are going to be turned off by that or whatever. Yeah. But yeah. this does a really good job about infusing, you know, putting enough coffee in there to, that where you can taste it. And you, it's a good coffee mix, it's really good. The only reason I don't give it a whole lot is because I've had better with Shine. I think Shiner had a really good coffee beer they made for their anniversary, and that's, huh. that's the only nice. reason I'm not giving it a higher rating. But I really did like this. Beer. Was that this last year too? <laughs> it was their birthday coffee. I, that was the one that I did not get to try. I don't too. think I got to try it either. Actually, we did the chocolate cake one, and then after that, we were yeah. just like, eh. I had one of those chocolate cake ones. I was like, okay, this is pretty good. And then I had a second one. I was like, this is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I think they might have learned from that from their overstock that they had, but. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. yeah. I was about to say, oh, sorry, so the awesome. coffee that is uh, featured in uh, the creature of the habits learn to something is um, Indonesia coffee. Indonesia coffee from Rhino Coffee in uh, Shreveport. Oh, cool. So cool. Well, there you go. Nice. Yeah. So there you go. If you want to know about the coffee, there you go. Well, that that must be local to them because yeah. I was about uh, to say this is also brewed in, Sh- yeah. in Shreveport. Yeah. yeah. Um, Louisiana. That's beautiful. As someone who's never had a coffee beer before, I think this is a nine ounce, and I really enjoyed it. Um, All right. It tasted. It, 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 to me, it tasted more like coffee compared to beer. Yeah. Um, and I really like coffee. I had a latte like about a few hours ago. <laughs> so, uh, because I need to be awake. Um, so it was, um, it was very tasteful. It, it was a very dark, to me, it tasted like a d- very dark roast and it just felt very full. It felt like an, cup, a cup of coffee just with a little sprinkle of uh, alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> so it was very 8%. good to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it was a very good, uh, very good uh, brew, I guess. Cool, cool. <laughs> it was delicious. All right, very delicious. Scott. All right, yeah. I'm, I'm going to be a little bit more negative on this one. Oh, hey, no. hey, wait, wait, wait. It's 2018, man. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Vibes. 
What you doing? I think I'm only going to give this a six. But I knew uh, it. I knew it. I mean, okay, you Scott traditionally doesn't. We like really need to review a Bud Light. That way, we can have a two and a three on the show. <laughs> <laughs> um, we need to give Scott a baseline. Yeah. <laughs> so what are we? Well, no. I mean, like the main I'll thing is, I don't drink coffee, and I agree. This is definitely much more a coffee rather than a beer, <laughs> and. Um, I've been spoiled now just because of what is the Epic Brewing with their big bad bad tista. big bad bad tista. It, oh, it's like oh ooh. baby. Oh, I mean, ooh. I think I've already said shit. This, we got to get like, another bottle of that. It's like between <laughs> between Epic and um, Epic and Austin Beer Works, they both make such a good beer that it's like really hard to rate anything. Well, okay, so so here here you you have to choose Epic. Because you can get epic where you live. Well, <laughs> or I can go to Austin or have one of my family members Wait. drive up, you know, Austin Beer Works for me. <laughs> what, uh, where, where can we get epic at? You can get can epic, you get epic pretty, pretty anywhere much anywhere up here. But the, the, so the, the big heart. bag ba- Baptista. You, you might be able to find Big Bad Baptista at, at like, Total mm-hmm. Wine. Uh, if they still have it, well, big, big Big Bad Baptista is a rare release. But if you find Big Bad Baptist, yeah, that's like the normal version. Of it. Well, Big Bad, it's, it's it's a little bit more widespread. You can go midway, midway, yeah, midway mark. Both are amazing. To- Total Wine. When I was at oh, Central Market in Fort Worth last, they had dude. one bottle of <laughs> Baptista left. You should have bought it, dude. I was <laughs> just there. Should have bought it. I was just there on Wednesday for a cooking class. That you should have bought it. Hey, <laughs> I know, dude. I Good literally. Real quick, did you guys know that Spex is opening it up on 288? Yeah. What? That's wow. that's some of your local that's... roads around here. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit down the road. <laughs> we're, we're really hitting our, our demographic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I see those Texas downloads. I know where, where people are listening. But we know where you actually live. Hey, guys, be aware. Spex opening up off 288. Get your local used to go beer. to uh, a Staples on 288. It's now a Spex. So. Congratulations, oh, cool. uh, Staples, for going on the... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but, but, yeah, anyways, you know, just like the last time we had a beer from these guys, like, I really enjoy their can artwork. I mean, that is something I can't fault them on, but... I mean, this just doesn't. I, like I said, I don't drink coffee, so the fact that this is a prominent. Then flavor, why are you here? <laughs> what are you doing? I just drink don't water, you know? man. <laughs> Beans We're of the round table. Coffee. <laughs> oh, that's I like that new podcast. back bar. Let's go ahead and get on it. <laughs> oh no! Put that be a, no, from, back, from now on, back mine. bar is called back beans. No, <laughs> no, I veto. As the editor, it will remain back bar. So Tyler, you want to do beans of the round table? Or, okay, all right. Just want to let you know. I'm now doing beans of the get round that, table. Get that beans website the round real table. quick. But yeah, I mean, it, like like I always say, I, I don't think this is something I would pick up. But I mean, it's six. It's not the lowest I've ever given it, but you know, I mean, it is what it is. I, I'm not a coffee drinker, so this just isn't for me. Understandable. Okay. Keep tuned for our next couple podcasts. We're gonna be drinking some Miller Fortune to go ahead. And- <laughs> <laughs> some Bud Light no. Platinum. Oh no. We'll oh. have the buckets ready. That's why I've been laughing about on the mic is thinking about how much fucking throw up's gonna be in their vomit. Man, Evie, <laughs> Evie hates this beer. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Bobby. Um, what, what do you What do you think? I'm not a coffee drinker at all. Uh, I'll drink coffee every now and then, just for no reason. I actually don't know why I ever drink coffee. I really caffeine? don't know why I get it. No, because I don't. <laughs> for the high. I'm a night owl anyway. <laughs> I'm a night owl anyway, so like I'll stay up. Like you know, like, yeah, I got a little insomnia going on, so I'll stay up every now and then to like four or five in the morning. You know, I'm always tired, so I should probably drink coffee. You know, it's probably a good idea. Anyways, I don't really drink coffee, and it was really nice to have this beer that was alcohol. It was you know, it's like. It just it was it was just it was just it just coffee was. it's just coffee with alcohol <laughs> just pretty much was yeah. and for me who doesn't really drink coffee it was like okay this is mixed with beer which I like so I'm gonna give it eight and a, eight out of half like eight and a half eight out of half what's wrong with me <laughs> I cannot speak today eight, eight out of five eight out of five yeah I'm gonna give it eight, eight and a half divided by point five and eight out of ten <laughs> wow a solid five out of seven you know it's a really high Almost score <laughs> no so eight and a half for sure uh, I really enjoyed it it was heavy on the coffee. More in the nose than it was the palate, but the palate was actually really, really nice. It was yeah. good. I really enjoyed it. Very good. Um, I would definitely pick this up all the time, but I know it's a seasonal beer. Oh, it only comes out like That's in the fall. That's unfortunate. Probably. So, oh. uh, yeah, and I, it was solid. I, I would drink it again. And I'm not a big coffee fan, but like I might be turning on the coffee more because of this beer, which is kind of strange. 
You this, know? so you know, I mean, uh, maybe it doesn't even make sense to say, but it's obviously a black coffee. Like, yeah. Like it's, yeah. It it's have very, sh- it. like, it's very <laughs> full. Do you, yeah. do you think this yeah. beer would be good warm? Like, just if you heat up in no. the microwave? No. <laughs> uh, hold up, hold up. No. Shut your damn mouth. This, this the, the can actually tells you it's best at 43 degrees. That's pretty hot. I'm leaving. <laughs> well, well, yeah, I mean, like, right so well, well, you, you, your, your average fridge is probably around like 36 degrees. So yeah, this is a little bit warmer than your average. Fridge. So you should yeah. check out your fridge. Go use the bathroom. <laughs> and then come back. Go read an article. Run underneath. On, the, yeah, yeah. Just, go go scroll one single comment like bracket or one single thread of 4chan, and then come back <laughs> and disappear. Go look up Great Raft. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. Like <laughs> like for for me, I'm on my my, my kegerator over there. I've got a temperature controller on it, so I usually keep it around 41. Which I like for my beer temperature, so you know that, that's just me. But if if you're like you know, an average person, then yeah, you just you'll pull it out of your fridge and then go read for it. If you're not Brad, then you're <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> all right, all right, Mister Bradley. So you... yeah, I'm gonna have to echo Bobby. I got I got an eight and eight and eight and a half. On See, you almost did what I did, an eight out of half. Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't the first alcohol I drank tonight. Same. <laughs> oh no. Um, it was it was hard because it's like compa- like what Scott said. It's comparing it to like Austin Beer Works and. Epic. It was like we yeah, had, we've had really yeah. good coffee sounds. Yeah, yeah. before. Very yeah, and then we, then, then we like true. right before the show, we had some of that. Well, you only had a sip. Yeah, I had a sip. We we, we had some of that barrel aged old Rasputin, which ooh, uh, thanks God. guys. Yeah, that was ooh, that was some good stuff. Oh, uh, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it was good. <laughs> something I didn't have was actually really good. I really I, 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 I owe you one, Bobby. It's okay. Um, oh no, no, nah, but this this was. <laughs> Uh, this is good, yeah. Like uh, like everybody said, there there was a there was a lot of coffee taste that you had in it, and that was that's that's as far as coffee beers go. I guess that's a little bit different because usually it's it's a little bit more of just a hint of coffee, which uh, it was it was good. I really liked it. I've like so far the two things I've had from this brewery, I've I've really enjoyed um, this and the double IPA. I really enjoyed a lot. So like this was an imperial coffee brown ale, which is kind of in the same family as a stout, as far as like. Like you know, a dark beer goes. Yeah, but now if if you can understand me when I say this, uh, a stout is opaque. It's gonna be where more a sweet. brown ale yeah. is transparent. Yes. Yeah. Yes. If if you get what I mean. Yeah. That yeah. Makes sure. sense. That's probably <laughs> yeah. why it wasn't as sweet as what yeah. a lot of stouts. So are. You, like yeah. your your stout's gonna be really thick, and you you get a lot of that malty flavor, a lot of that sweetness, and you get, just get the hint of coffee if they add it in there. Yes. Whereas this yeah. like. Like it's the same kind of thing where they're they're using some of the darker malts, but it's not going to be the same black malt or it chocolate have malt. The heft yeah. behind. Yeah, it. yeah exactly. Yes. Yeah. It's 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 more of a like it, they're they're using usually more the the, the darker uh, caramel, darker crystal malts yeah. that will give you that 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 flavor, a little bit of sweetness, but it's not going to add in that that super thickness that some of the yes. black and chocolate malts. Which are is add. another reason why this one doesn't reach into those imperial stout. Alcohol coffee. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is yeah. like you know this this says imperial coffee brown ale, but it's only eight yeah. percent. Uh, yeah. So for sure, uh, like you know your your That's usual brown ale is going to be around like you know the four or five percent range. Yeah. I guess yeah. you'd say yeah. four four to six maybe. But you know this uh, is skyrocketing past that <laughs> for 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 that alcohol. Oh, yes, like it, 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 like. Uh, I, I might have said this before. Imperial these days is more of a marketing term. Yeah, That's true. it's it, it's it's just like they add that to any beer style to say this is higher alcohol. Well, the yeah. British aren't giving imperial stats over to the Russians. Yeah, anymore. exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah, So like you know, a hey. little, little bit of little bit of beer history. I think we've talked about it before. The Russian imperial stout was the first imperial beer, and that was because like you know the, because they needed it. Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course, so, it gets so, so cold. So the the English were you know giving beer to the Russians and. What was happening is like to be able to send beer across the sea for that long of time, they had to make it a higher alcohol for it to actually last the journey before it spoiled. They would so, have to ship it over the Arctic Circle, which yeah. was the big problem. Yeah, exactly. Yikes. So so they made it a higher alcohol so it would last longer. And that's why it's called a Russian Imperial Stout. It's not made in Russia. Yeah. It was made in England. It's for it's Russia. it was created by England <laughs> for the Russian czars. Yeah. And that's why they call it a that's Russian Imperial nice. Stout. So so nowadays imperial is just kind of a marketing term. It's like oh hey we yeah. we, we we boosted the alcohol a little bit. Yeah yeah yeah. So uh, alcohol is it's great. a bit fancier. Yeah. So you know, long story short, eight and a half. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's a good beer. <laughs> it's a good beer. It's all right. So all right. Uh, sign off. Yeah. So uh, thank you for joining us this week. Uh, we want to thank uh, Pigeon. Uh, Porcelain pigeon. How much have you had to drink tonight, Brad? <laughs> we always have a lot of good drinks <laughs> here on beers. We, we want to thank Porcelain Pigeon Cast for joining us tonight. Pigeon Porcelain. It's been a blast, dude. <laughs>
<laughs> it's been a blast. Is it pigeon and porcelain? Porcelain pigeon. Porcelain pigeon. We are porcelain pigeon. Porcelain pigeon cast. We want to thank the Got Austin him. and Tyler for joining us. Damn it. Thank you so very much for having us. You, you, you can find them on iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, all that. And you can find us at beersoftheroundtable.com, iTunes, TuneIn, Stitcher, all the same places. It's amazing. <laughs> We're all on the same platform. Yeah. Hello, yeah. audience. <laughs> so go check us out, Facebook, Instagram, all that you know stuff. Connect with us. It's uh, like we're friends or something. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And, you know, we, we would really appreciate it if our listeners, the the, the, the like the 20 faithful listeners we have. <laughs> Shout out. The 20 um, a week we get. You, you guys are important Keith. to us. Brother. Hey, we love <laughs> tweet, us, love tweet us to Trump and then see what he says. So... <laughs> So we would really, we would really appreciate it if you would take the time to go on to iTunes and give us a rating. What yes. it, whatever you feel is fair, one star, five stars, we don't care. We want you to rate us. <laughs> we don't but, care. But think of it this way: the amount of rating you give us is how much you actually fill up your pint glass. So, like five would be a full pint glass. Yeah, like, like exactly. pouring your beer like, like for how you. How much beer right do you actually it. want to drink? Yeah. Right. So you, you know, want star. <laughs> you want a one star. star pint. We already finished our drinks. You're just cracking your glass. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so we we really appreciate it if you'd go interview us, give us a rating. Uh, same to same to Pigeon Cast. It, 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 Shout out to the one star. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> it's very, it's very helpful. You, you guys just don't know how helpful it is to us. It, 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 figure, really it helps us, you know, figure out what we need to do better to entertain exactly. you more. But anyway, so find us in all those regular places. Uh, thank you again for joining us this week. And uh, bearded monk. Yeah, bearded monk. Well. I, I paid for this one. Oh, you paid for this yeah. one? Okay. <laughs> but we love the Bearded Monk anyway, so we can talk about them. Bearded Monk, you know, the best bottle shop in Denton, Texas. Um, so, you know, go check them out. They've got, you know, great great selection, great events all the time, always. Stout and Shout is coming up this month. Ooh. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to go to that. I'm gonna Stout and Shout, wait, wait, come wait, wait, on wait. out to is, the Denton that, Square. We've gone through January quite 20th? a Stout and Shout. January tw- it's January 20th? I believe so. Um, check out on the Denton. I'm looking it up. Go, go look it up. We, <laughs> we, we can uh, give a correct date on our podcast. If you guys podcast. are up here in North URL Texas, place. if you're up here in Denton, Texas, in the uh, North Texas area, we've had a lot of change that have been going on. We had a huge fire along one oh, of our major shops here on the square. Yeah, there's a lot of charity events going on for there, yes. for the, the mini mall. If you if you are a fan of Denton or have been up here before, love the square scene, please come support some of the local Denton businesses. We're trying to go ahead and keep the Denton Square alive. There's been a lot of changes going on, a lot of things that are in talks, a lot of things that are happening. Come on up, support local Denton businesses like the Bearded Monk. Support some of our local beer gardens up here. And, man, enjoy your time up here. Come support us. Come be a part of what makes Beers of the Round Table, Beers of the Round Table. Come be a part of what lets us crack our cu- or our, our cans every Friday. <laughs> I, I, I can give you one good reason why you should come to the Denton Square and hang out. What come is on. it? Because you can have open alcohol containers what? on the square. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? Super true. Yeah. That's right. You, we have open well, container you can walk laws. With, with, yeah. with, with, you can walk around the square with, a, with an open beer. I have not known that. I've done that many I times no on dates. Yeah. yeah, we've had. Yeah, yeah. Uh, me, me. Like, I feel like all of us have had yeah. like separate yeah. dates. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, like, yeah, me, me, yeah. Me, Zach, and uh, Kara. One time had a picnic. We we had mimosas. Yeah, you can bring champagne out. There. Cops okay. walking by, they're think, just looking at you, giving the head nod and stuff like I don't that. Think you guys, I don't think you guys have realized how much feels like smoking pot in Colorado. Yeah. Do you realize <laughs> you, did my, do you, you just did my plans for the spring? You know what I'm doing, right? <laughs> you, you, you're gonna go you're gonna, drink a handle of vodka on the square. Beer pick, just bro. Guys, Pop it let's, open, let's, guys. Let's go. All right. Let's, so, did you find the date? It is January twentieth. January twentieth. Third annual Stout and Shout. Third annual Stout and Shout at the Bearded Monk. January twentieth. Be there or That's be square. Week after my birthday, it. so it's going to be on a Saturday. Yeah. Yep. So, so on Saturday. Yeah. Stout's my absolute favorite style of beer. Yeah. Uh, Stout and Shout just has a ton of like. <laughs> 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 they always have a ton of really rare selections of stouts for Stout and Shout. You're a rare selection. Thank you. Wow. Ooh. But uh, yeah, definitely go to that. We love the Bearded Monk. They've they've helped out this podcast a whole ton. Uh, we really appreciate them. So once again, uh, thank you for joining us. Thank you for listening. Put your foot in. Put your foot in. Do all the good stuff that we already said Put to your do. Foot in. Crack a um, be positive for 2018. Oh, yeah. uh, hashtag blessed. Uh, spread your positivity. <laughs> spread your beer cracking positivity. And you know what? Stay tuned. Keep listening to us. Maybe we can do a cast on the lawn one day. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Cast on the lawn. And. Make sure you guys stay true to your resolutions. Yes. Yeah. And, of course. Right? Important. and most yep. importantly, Important. stay tuned. Most importantly, be sure to crack a cold one with your boys. Hey. Hey. Yeah. All right. Woo! Excellent. Nice.
Well done, guys. I'm serious about doing that on the square. Yeah, I, I was going to mention that, but I wanted to like, put pressure on anybody. Or Dick Municipal has wifi. their own thing on there, and it's pretty fast Wi-Fi. If we can pull that shit off. I forgot to show you my phone. Well, all we need is an outlet. Huh? I forgot to show you my oh, phone. Oh, we need to print a big yeah, uh, logo yeah. sign. Dude, so that way they could, people could see. So, uh, did I take...